brothers, you to write them down. I mean, uh, write it down. Amen. So they can have some evidence of how you used to talk. <laughs> <laughs> and use it against you. Amen. I'm, I'm just being real. That's what attraction is. But remember when you first saw the person, and although the room was full, they, they just stuck out. How everyone seemed to have the same fashion of clothes and the latest hairstyle, but, but this person seemed to stick out and be just a little bit of difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. And that's the law of attraction. Right. There got to be something that I'm interested in this person, either physical, mentally, or whatever, right. to get my attention. Mm -hmm. You don't go in there looking at everybody, feeling the same way about everybody, just that one person. Mm hmm that you'll be willing to give the time of day. Right. Amen. It works the same way in the club unless you had too much to drink. Uh -oh. <laughs> so the attraction don't work when you had too much to drink. Everybody is attracted when you get enough to drink. I know. It don't work, sir. Amen, brother. Brother Knox, he's a man of confession. <laughs> <laughs> a smart man, be quiet. <laughs> right to sit back there like... <laughs> Amen. Amen. But that's okay. That's okay. Because I got an amen going over here yeah. who don't mind confessing what the, <laughs> no, no, no. nothing at all. Yeah, yeah. Just some how everyone seems to speak the same language, but yet still his sound or of his voice seems to be a little unique. Mm -hmm. Something about the one you get attracted to, it seems supernatural, don't it? Right. I mean, because everybody's in there, they, they speak in English, and they came in and walking, and, and, and they, they just about dressed the same, but yeah. it has to be something supernatural that drew your attention to that person. Right. I, I, am I right about it? Right. Yeah. You know, because uh, it wasn't just because she was a female, but she was a particular female. Right. It wasn't because he was a, a, a male, he was a particular male that drew my attention because the room is full of them. Right. And I want you to get this. Now, y'all need to hear this now. Right. Attractions don't have no limit until you understand what the limitation is. Oh, ain't, ain't nobody saying nothing now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm going to throw you back on. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk in the room and you uh, become attracted to something, you don't know if it's married or not married. Ah, ah, now you're back on now. Yeah. <laughs> in other words, I want you to understand attraction don't know nothing unless it finds out. Because attraction don't care if you married or not married. It doesn't matter. I'm just attracted to it. It's something supernatural about the attraction. Yes. Okay. Amen. But the information give me the idea of the limitation. Mm -hmm. Some of us need to learn that. Attraction don't stop just because you got married. No. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody said nothing there. <laughs> No, it don't. Didn't nothing happen to Brother Smith I when he got married? A pretty woman was pretty then, and a pretty woman is pretty now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And an ugly woman. <laughs> Somebody said, well, I got you. She's no ugly woman. Yeah, I did. And they still ugly. I just wasn't attracted to them. Right. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't want y'all getting wrong about ugly ain't ugly to everybody. Right. It's ugly when I'm not attracted to it. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was something supernatural about the attraction. Yes. There was something. I don't know exactly. Have you ever got to the point where you couldn't explain what it was, but it was just something right. about you that made me interested in you. Right. You didn't come in with no cape and a big F on your chest. <laughs> but it was just something about you that attracted to me. I was interested in to get to knowing you a little better. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what attraction is. Yeah. All of us have been to heaven. Amen. And I mean, it don't have no age limit on it neither. Mm. Huh? There's no color restrictions to it neither. No, oh, y'all playing with me this morning? But that's what it is when it comes to love. First, there's an attraction. Right. You got to be attracted to it. And there's a possibility for who Jesus is and what he said might not make him attractive to you. Because he said some things that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Oh, stay with me this morning. When you always had something to say 
You know, this is what attraction does to you. When you always have something to say, you can tell when you're attracted to somebody. When you always had something to say and then you find yourself a lost the word. Mm-hmm. Ain't, ain't that's right. Yes. You, just, you, just, you know, you get around, you just quiet. You just. Your, your girlfriend said, Well, she got all that mouth, but she ain't got nothing to say today. That's on you. She must like him. Because <laughs> she got nothing but mouth. What's wrong with you, uh uh, kitty? <laughs> <laughs> Kitty ain't got nothing to say, but when she went up, she, we can't get her to stop talking. She telling her what she been shopping, what she going to shopping. Now Kitty is quiet, and we looking at Kitty with the cross eyes. Mm-hmm. Kitty see something. Cause she, Kitty ain't never been a lost the word. The guy come say something to him, she just sitting up there looking. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Kitty, say. I don't know what to say. She attracted. That's what attraction is sometimes. It's just because you want to make sure you say the right thing at the same because you want them to feel the same way you feel about them, right? Yeah. You don't want to mess around and say the wrong thing and be looking dumb, sounding dumb because you real dumb. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Uh, that's the attraction, you know? Look, when you always kept your composure, but now you seem to be a little clumsy. Mm. Come on, y'all. You tripping over your own foot. You know, amen. You scratching when there's nothing in you. <laughs> Smiling when ain't nothing funny. Or laughing when ain't nothing. Come on, now, ain't you ever been that silly kind of love because of the attraction? All of us been there. I don't care who you are. You, right. That's just how it is about attraction. Something is just different about this person. At one time, you might have seen the flaws after the attractions and become, well, I got to get to the courtship thing. And, and, and then it becomes the shortcomings uh, and the flaws and the shortcomings of the person. That's why I would say, when